Yo, what's up, man? Big facts here. Tupac is the quintessential form of duality. I mean, he is the perfect representant. He's he he is the perfect representative of what contradiction looks like. He is the perfect representative of a dual nature. He is the perfect representative of light and shadow. You know, most people can hide the dual nature. Tupac couldn't hide his dual nature. It was right in your face. Like a Martin Luther King. Somebody like a uh, somebody like that, somebody like the Pope, somebody like anybody. A lot of these celebrities we see, a Prince, a Michael Jackson. These people hid their hid their dual natures pretty well. It wasn't live, hot in our face. Tupac's dual nature was live, right in our face, and easy to see. And you know, we live in a, a dual world. God is a, has a dual nature. We all have dual natures. We live in a yin yang. We know, there is no good without evil. There is no evil without good. You know, we live in a light and shadow world. Angel, demon, you know, we live in opposites. We live in a dual nature of opposites of each other, you know. Total opposites. And Tupac made it plain and clear. He was very dual, very contradictory. Like I said, like we all, but a lot of us can hide our dual nature. So you think a lot of us don't contradict ourselves because we, you know, we all have a dual nature. Tupac just, his spirit just showed his more profoundly. So I could easily, just as easily as I can show you all the, Things that make Tupac a hero, quintessential male, alpha male figure. On the flip side of that, I can show you things about Tupac that shows he was very feminine, suspect, coward-like, uh, evil-like, um, gay. You know, um, anything you can think negative of, of a person, I could show you that side of Tupac. You know, snitch, from snitch, okay, what's the opposite of snitch? Stand up nigga, gangster, what's the opposite of gangster, punk, Tupac was all that, he was all that, bro. He could be a punk, he can be a coward, he can be a strong motherfucker, he can be a brave motherfucker. He showed us that. He showed us that in his life. We can see pictures of that Tupac holding a dude's hands. That shit looks suspect. Picture of Tupac and Money B in bed with his shirt off and Money B laying on Tupac chairs. That shit looks suspect. Tupac in an interview, very feminine when he was young. Tupac taking ballet. That shit looks suspect. That shit looked phony and fake. You know, how Tupac was talking in that video when he was in high school. They call girls the B word. You know, all that shit looked fake. From what we saw, Tupac, from what we knew Tupac as, thug, thug life. Uh, busting at the police. Standing up, very articulate, 
very intelligent in interviews, you know, uh, in his music, telling women to keep your head up, Brenda got a baby, then the opposite of, the opposite of that, fucking a lot of groupies, fucking a lot of women, being a womanizer, being a player, uh, disrespecting a lot of women, uh, cussing out a lot of women. You know, calling women bitches and all that. Using women. You know, letting a woman get, didn't stand up for the woman and eventually she got raped. Oh, well, she claimed she, she was raped. But Tupac didn't, didn't, uh, Tupac regretted walking out that room. You know, so he's kind of, he he is responsible for her safety. He was responsible for her safety. And he was a coward in that situation. But as much as you can point out ways he was a coward, he was also brave in a lot of situations too. He was also a stand-up man in a lot of situations. A caring man in, in a lot of situations that most people wouldn't care about. He stood up. He talked about Brenda's got a baby. Talked about our communities. Talked about telling women to keep your head up. Very caring in that aspect. Um, very thoughtful in how he talked about building building the communities up, building the black community up. Very thoughtful. Um, very revolutionary in his early days and in his music. Talked about self defense, you know. Uh, not letting himself get robbed in quad studios. Ready to, willing to die for what he believed in. You know, that's stand up shit. Brave shit. A lot of people laid down. A lot of big niggas laid down when they saw them guns. Two partners didn't lay down. He went out fighting. Brave motherfucker. You know? Uh we'll fight you in a minute. We'll fight we we'll, wasn't scared to fight. Brave motherfucker. We'll beat up motherfuckers. Got into a lot of fights. There ain't no punk. But you see what I'm saying? You you can you can show ways that okay he a punk and you can show ways that he ain't a punk. You can show ways that he was loyal and show ways that he was disloyal. Len Kendrick get beat up his day ones, beating up on his day ones at death row for Suge Knight. Beating up Mo Prime, his goddamn brother. Not having his day ones back. You know what I mean? Even Napoleon had his day ones back. He ain't let Suge Knight beat up his, his homie. Tupac probably would have. But see, I'm just showing you an example of where Tupac could let you down. I can show you another example where Tupac uh, could make you feel proud. Tupac said himself, he's very soft, very weak, but he also very, very strong. He told you that in resurrection. So Tupac dick riders, don't don't hate the message. Don't hate the messenger. Tupac said this shit himself. That's dual nature. That's all that is, man. Dual he is the perfect God like figure. Of a dual of duality, cause God, his himself, is duality. God himself is light and darkness. Tupac was the perfect example that you can see of light and darkness in a man, and you could see it clearly. He showed us both his light and his darkness, cause I can see it clearly. I can see all the contradictions and I can see all 
you know, the power. I can see all the contradictions and I can see all the logic. I can see all the cowardice and I can see all the bravery. I can see all the weaknesses and I can see all the strength. I can see all the good and I can see all the evil. I can see it perfectly with this man Tupac. And that's probably why we're still talking about him almost 30 years later. Because he was quintessential divine. Quintessentially he's divine. Quintessentially he's black Jesus. He, he is Jesus. He is a God. He's, he is God. We are all a God. But he, you can see God nature within Pac clearly. You can see the God nature within him. Clearly, and you, and I don't think there's ever been a guy like him where you can see the God nature so clearly. You know what I mean? Amazing, man. Big, big facts. Peace.